Congenital trigger thumb and trigger fingers. Congenital trigger thumb is a pediatric condition which results in flexion deformity of the thumb at the IP joint. Triggering and flexion deformity of the IP of the thumb and a nodule can be felt at the base of the thumb over the MCP joint of the thumb. The condition can be developmental or congenital. Congenital trigger thumb is 25% bilateral. The flexor pollicis longus tendon is thickened and its diameter increased compared to the A1 poly. That will interfere with normal gliding of the tendon and will cause thumb triggering which can lead to fixed contracture of the thumb. Spontaneous resolution of the symptoms is unlikely after the age of two years. So the patient will have flexion deformity at the IP joint. The flexor tendon may have a nodule called notch node. The patient may not be able to extend the IP joint due to fixed flexion deformity. X-rays are usually normal. Treatment. Extension splinting in the first year. Less than one year. Treatment is observation, stretching, and splinting. Passive extension exercises with intermittent extension splinting. There will be about 50% resolution of symptoms. Then surgery. Surgery is done if there's failure of conservative treatment, if there's fixed deformity after one year of age, if no spontaneous correction by one year, you will do a release of the A1 poly. A1 poly release. During the operation, you must protect the radial digital nerve, which can cross the field. Avoid release of the oblique pulley because that may lead to bow stringing of the flexor tendon. Trigger fingers in children. Usually multiple fingers are affected. Distal triggering as the flexor digitorum profundus pass through the sublimus decussation at the level of the A2 poly and not the A1. Treatment is usually excision of one sublimus slip to allow smooth gliding of the flexor digitorum profundus. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.